Just like previous versions, Apple's newest operating system, Yosemite, does not come on a disk or USB drive. It's only downloadable via the Mac App Store. Nevertheless, there are a number of reasons why users may wish to create a bootable installer drive. Whether it's for upgrading multiple machines without having to re-download the 5GB installer file repeatedly, performing a clean install, or simply for the convenience of having a separate bootable installation drive in the event it's ever needed. The process has been made especially simple. Creating a Yosemite bootable installation drive is quite simple, although it involves multiple steps. Before beginning, you will need either a USB flash drive or a USB external hard disk that you don't mind formatting, along with a copy of the Yosemite installer. Of course, you need to ensure the destination Mac is capable of running Yosemite in the first instance, although if your Mac is capable of running Mavericks, then it's capable of running Yosemite too. We begin by formatting our USB drive and making it a bootable installer. I recommend at least a 16GB drive, USB 3 if possible, although USB 2 drives will also work fine. Bear in mind this process will erase the drive, so make sure you've backed up any data from the drive beforehand. We start by inserting the drive into a USB port and launching Disk Utility. Select the drive from the left side list, click on the Erase tab and format the drive as Mac OS Extended Journaled. Then choose Erase to confirm. Next go to the Partitions tab and under Partition Layout click the pull down menu changing it from current to one partition if it isn't already set beforehand. Change the name from untitled one to untitled, check the format and change if need be, and then hit the options button. Choose GUID partition table as the partition scheme if it's not already chosen and click OK. Click apply and confirm the creation of the partition. Once complete, quit out of disk utility. The USB drive is now formatted and ready for the next step. The next step will actually make the installer drive. To do this, enter the Mac App Store on your Mac and download OSX Yosemite. Bear in mind the installer is over 5GB in size, so may take a while to download depending upon your connection speed. Once downloaded, the installer will run automatically. Do not proceed, simply quit the installer. Launch a new terminal window which is in your Applications Utilities folder or searchable via Spotlight. Enter the following command. I've placed this in the description box just below this video for easy copying. Bear in mind when copying and pasting the command across, double check the command before you run it. Sometimes a rogue character can work its way into the pasted command for some unknown reason. So double check the command carefully before proceeding. Once confirmed, hit return to run the command. Enter the administrator password for the machine you are using when requested. It may look as though nothing is being entered, but continue to enter the password and hit return. Now leave the Mac to do its thing. It may take a while depending upon the speed of your internal drive as well as your USB drive, so sit tight and wait for the operation to complete. Once you see the text stating done, the operation is complete and you can safely exit out of the terminal window. And that's all there is to it. Your bootable Yosemite USB installer is now created and complete. Users can either upgrade any version of OSX from Snow Leopard, Lion, Mountain Lion or Mavericks directly to OSX Yosemite with the installer that was just made or perform a clean install by restarting the Mac with the USB drive inserted, holding the Option key as soon as the Mac switches on, and select the created USB drive to begin your clean installation of OSX Yosemite.